What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. Okay, if you follow the channel, you know we just did our unboxing and first look at the Nothing Phone 1 and came away really impressed at this baby. Uh, yes, it's meant to be a budget segment phone or a, a mid-range phone, but the design, the feel, the smoothness, the responsiveness, and what they've done here has been awesome. But we're not here to talk about the review. That's coming in another video. I wanted to direct this to you guys that are actually in the US and thinking about importing one or getting your hands on one of these because it's not FCC certified. It doesn't have any carrier certification either. And a lot of people are actually wondering, can you use this here? Well, I'm happy to say that now using it and traveling around a bit, yes, with at least T-Mobile service, I have gotten 5G and have had no issues. It's operating exactly as you would expect. Not only am I getting 5G, I'm still getting HD voice and uh, Volite as well. Everything works on here like you would anticipate with any other phone. So this is great to see. Obviously, it could change in the future. I don't see why it would or how it would, but I just want to throw that caveat up there for you. But if you are in the U.S. and you're thinking about picking these babies up, I, uh, I think it's worth it. Import it. If you can get it at a good price right now, grab it and use it. Uh, as you can see here in the video, I've had no issues. It worked fast, smooth. I did not run a speed test, but 5G is going to vary depending on where you're located at. I'm obviously going to assume you're not getting any ultra capacity 5G, but again, doesn't matter. Beggars can't be choosers. If you're interested in using this here in the U.S., it works perfectly fine. Pick one up, and uh, if you do or if you're going to, drop a comment down below and let me know. I also want to let you guys know it is still pulling in updates as you would assume. We just got Nothing OS 1.1 with all of those improvements for the camera, for the glyph interface, and new functions as well as the July security patch. So again, still being supported just like it was if it was sold right here in the US. Thanks for watching guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.